Hey Libra, welcome to your May prediction video. This is TC, your guiding chariot. Welcome, thank you for joining me. Um, so my normal disclaimer I have in the description box. Um, main things, especially if you're new, this is gonna be a general reading for all Libra, sun, moon, and rising. My only ask is that you take these messages as they resonate. Do not try to force them. If it doesn't make sense or doesn't fit your circumstance, that message was just not meant for you. So move on to the next one. <coughs> Take whatever resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Because that's the nature of a general reading, I do encourage you to watch the videos for all of your signs. Um, if you know that, if you don't know them, you can uh, get all that info for free online um, and then come back. Feel, feel free to watch whatever videos you're drawn to. I always like my sun and my rising. We are in a Jupiter retrograde, so it may be worth checking out your Jupiter video. So again, feel free to watch what you're drawn to. Biggest thing is you aren't forcing the messages. Um, usual setup, I have some Oracle decks we're going to get used to get little peaks at different aspects of the month. Love and romance, personal growth, finances, and then we have your main message from a tarot spread at the end. All right. Spirit, what is going on for Libra? It's concerning love and relationships. What do, they, what do they need to know about their emotional relationships right now for the month of May? Hmm. Answer that question. Oh, cute. So Libra, you got the it is safe to love. Prompt reads, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I think that's the key. It's this to be open. Um, not being not being afraid to trust, not being afraid to kind of surrender to whatever's going on concerning dating or your love life, whatever's going on. Um, I feel like this is gonna be really multifaceted, because even as I'm trying to think, normally when I when I start talking, like examples just kind of pop out. There it it's, it just feels kind of vague. Like this is just kind of an open thing. <laughs> Funny, it's an open thing. <laughs> Be open. Um, anyway, <laughs> it has, but it just has to do with you being just receptive. And I almost want to say this is this is about not being judgmental about everything that comes in. Just kind of letting it come in, feel it out, let it be. If we like it, it stays. If we don't like it, kick it out. But it's not, I just feel like this is, it's a little, it's being a little more, I was gonna say compassionate, but that's not the word I want. Um, but it's definitely about being less critical. Like you don't have to analyze every little thing that comes your way. And I get it, you know, I've, I've, I did the readings for last month. You guys have been through some shit. Like I get it. So I get, I get why this card is popping up. But again, it's just a reminder, you are safe. Not all connections are gonna be as rough as the ones you've been going through. Not all of them are like that. You can't treat them all that way because they're not gonna behave the same way. So this is just a heads up, be like, you're safe, it's okay. Not everyone's coming to get you. So put the, put the sword down, all right? To me, that's really the biggest bit. And again, this could be, this could be in love, this could be with friends, coworkers, anywhere. But it's about knowing that you are you are safe. Not everyone is gunning for you. All right. Ooh. Almost got away from me there. All right, spirit. Who is helping Libra as they continue to grow and evolve this month? That was Kayana, my little Gemini, giving you guys some shout outs. <laughs> that was Leo deciding it's that <laughs> deciding it's playtime. <laughs> All right, you guys got Miriam. So this is the sacred vision. So there is a lot of forgiveness in this card as well. So forgiveness, in a sense, like we were talking about earlier, with this, you know, you guys have gone through some shit. I know you have. Prompt here reads, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So, kind of poignant. Love has no boundaries. It's safe. But there's this idea of understanding that you guys have gone through a lot this past month. And you had to, you, I think you guys had to deal with a lot of dark. You know what I mean? Like you had to deal with some shit. To me, this card is really, even though 
and for some of you, things may have completely ended, and it may have ended badly. That could be a thing. To me, this card is remembering that there is a balance. <laughs> Libra balance. <laughs> right side, left side scale. Got it. All right. But there is this sense of whatever happened may have been so bad or so heavy or so dark, you forgot that there was light. Or, or even if there was so much dark in this situation, there was still light. You know, so it's almost like don't forget that there were some good things here. You know, and again, even if whatever went through, whatever transpired, like you've ended it, you've cut off someone or something, even if you've completely moved on, this is just kind of getting to remember, like, it wasn't all bad. You know what I mean? You don't have to be so, like, severe with that axe. You know what I mean? Um, there, there was still some good in there, and that's something that you can still celebrate. Even if you're cut off and you've moved forward, I'm not saying you have to go and open your arms again and welcome whatever the situation was, but it's just about remembering the good that was in it. You're not completely abandoning the whole thing just because it turned sour. Remembering the good times, carrying them with you, carrying them forward, even if for anything they're a reminder that not everything is completely evil. You know, like... At the very least, that's something you can carry with you if you can kind of open up and allow yourself to go through that journey again. Because it could be emotional. I don't know how that, how last month's readings manifested for you, you know, but I know you went through some things. So it may be rough to kind of go back and look for those little pockets of light in this, you know, experience. But if you can, honestly, I think that's going to help you move forward even more. And move forward in a healthy way, not just, you know, I'm just going to cover that under the rug and move forward because I don't want to look at it anymore. It's really like processes and healing it, feeling it, and then moving forward a lot lighter and a lot more optimistic, all right? One, hey, one more, there we go. Spirit, what is going on for Libras concerning their work and finances in the month of May? Well, oh, no. Okay. Got a little sneaker. Got a little sneaker cut. Oh, all right. So you guys got the Queen of Fire. I think in all the times I've used this deck, I don't know if I've actually ever seen this card from this deck. It's very nice. I like it. So Queen of Fire. Could be the sign of a of a fire sign. You may be working with a fire sign. For some reason, I don't know why that's relevant. I normally don't do that in this particular position, but could be a thing. Fire sign could be real significant in the workplace for you right now. Um, what I think is more significant and will and will apply to more of you is this I, this notion about really, really focusing on your passions and your desires and what it is you enjoy doing. And I will add to that, doing it just for the sake of doing it. Queen of Fire is a very charismatic and sensual energy. So obviously we're not talking about the sensual things, but it's it's this magnetism that the Queen of Fire has. She gets what she wants, not because she goes after and chases it or tells some to go get it for her. She just does her own thing and she, she literally will just walk into a room and sit on her throne and everyone is just enamored by her and they just magnetize to her. That is the energy that you're using at work. So even if you're working on something and you're trying to accomplish something or get to a new level, get a new position, da 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 da, da, da you will not get it by pushing and forcing and being crazy assertive. This energy is magnetic. You just need to sit in it, vibe in it, do you, be content, fill yourself with this desire, and let the boys come to you, all right? This is a really strong, attractive, magnetic energy. So you're not gonna be successful chasing. You need to attract, all right? Which, I get it. You being an air sign, you usually tend to carry a little more mask and more assertive traits. It's more likely for you to want to go out and do, and I'm literally telling you to do the opposite. Doesn't mean you do nothing, but you don't, you, you're not chasing anything is the key. So what you're working on are your passion projects, the things you enjoy. You're just, just doing what authentically brings you joy. So if you're, 
you know, let's say, let's say you're a florist, you know what I mean? Like you work in a flower shop, you know, you're not, you're not going to be like hounding clients, you know, trying to talk them into this huge, massive bouquet. Just do what you normally do. If you love watering the flowers, do that, you know? Take care of them, tend to them, nurture them. You are going to be recognized as long as you stay in that energy. You know, someone may recognize like how good you are with plants and how you care for them and that's gonna pull them in and they're gonna start talking. You know what, I, I, you know, I'm working for my, you know, with my friend on planning her wedding and we need, a, we need a florist. What do you think you could do? You know, things like that. But it's about vibing in your own positive natural energy and that serving as the catalyst. That's the magnet that pulls in the opportunities. So do you this month at work, do what, what genuinely feels good to you, what you enjoy, but allow the opportunities to come to you. This month isn't about you being super assertive at work, all right? Which I think is fine because you got, looks like you got a lot of emotional healing to go through after last month. So just do what makes you happy. <laughs> Let work be the easy side this month. <laughs> What is the most important message for Libra for the month ahead? What do they most need to know concerning May? Oh, my hand felt twitchy. He was like dying. He's ready to hear this. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, flip the cards over already. Hurry up. So you guys got the Hermit card. So could be dealing with a Virgo, maybe, who knows? Um, or if you're a cross watcher and you're a Virgo and you're dealing with a Libra, here you are. Uh, but this is a card of introspection to me. So it is a card of guidance, receiving messages. A lot of times these messages come through your guides, your angels, things like that. But this is an internal journey. So you're going within, you can kind of see the turtle in this card. It's like all tucked in a shell. Um, so there is, there is a moment of kind of going within and, and reviewing and processing. Um, I usually take this card as a card of meditation. So it may be worth it for you guys to like, you know, put on some chill music, close your eyes and kind of sit peacefully for a moment and just kind of like feel what pops up that could be worthy, worthy for you. This could also be you tucked in your shell, you know, after last month maybe not feeling so safe and just wanting to be kind of solo and, and kind of be on your own for a while. Also not a bad thing. So this, this may just be calling for this moment of, of, you know, solitude. Oh, look. And there we have the justice card. Here you are, Libra. So yes, even more so wanting to be, be you, do you, go, go your own way, um, do your own thing rebalancing those scales as always um you know having karmic payout for what you've gone through and it's that reharmonizing is kind of what i want to say this reharmonizing this rebalance so to speak then you have the moon card oh major cards for healing right now so you've got the moon card um so moon card can speak to secrets to me, I think this is, especially considering what's come out and what we've been talking about, this is illumination, this is understanding. So to me, this is secrets being revealed and not secrets in a deceptive, sneaky deaky manner, like someone trying to hide something from you, but secrets where like, you know, there's an understanding that you weren't super privy to right out the gate. Like you weren't highly aware of something. And as you kind of go through this process, as you kind of sit in the aftermath, then this understanding starts to peek through. Then you start to see, you know, I want to say like a little, little bigger picture. If that makes sense. Sorry, I need a little bit of water. Um, and it makes sense. So, you know, you taking a break, kind of going within your shell, like I was burned. I just want to be by myself a little bit. I'm just reconnecting, figuring out my next move. And as you're kind of stewing in this aftermath, you kind of see like the why and understand. And it's, it's that healing. Oh, yes. Ace of Pentacles, working on them coins. Love that. So this is abundance. To me, this is, this is finances for you guys. 
this is definitely going to be finances as you really tap into. I feel like as you go through this phase in the beginning of the month, this Queen of Fire energy starts to get stronger and stronger and stronger as you get more, more in tune with you. And then once you kind of like peak this energy, that's when these offers start to come in. Could For some of you, this could be a new job. This could be a new income source. This could be a promotion, some type of gift concerning finances. Oh, look at that. You go from the Ace of the Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. This is fluidity, flexibility. Again, to me, this is about being open. Here you are being asked to be open emotionally. This is going to be same kind of thing open to this could be a new option that may be why you're getting the two this need to be flexible this could be because you're debating maybe do i take this new job keep the old one you may be taking it and now it's it's kind of dipping your toe between both you know so you if if you only have one job you might be going up to two and now you have to find a balance there you know but still a nice little progression yep oh feeling this feeling it and here you have the hanged man card i don't i i almost don't want to say this is happening at the end of the month like i don't think this is a progression like i honestly i feel like this is your reading i feel like these five are your reading this guy is coming up bonus you know because i always kind of connect the hanged man and the hermit card together because their storyline is kind of similar. It's about going into the dark to find the light. Um, the difference is, you know, both are internal journeys, but the difference is the hangman, you're going in alone, where the hangman is, you're going in to receive guidance from source or from your angels or from your guides. So here the answer is being given to you. Here you're going through alone and have to find it. But the journey is similar. To me, this is kind of like, the overlay of all of this you you're already kind of going through this hanged man moment but these are like the steps you know this is how this is the journey all right you know this is like this is alice's journey through wonderland and then this is this is when you finally wake up and realize it was all a dream you know what I mean? Like this is this is when you finally arrive and see the big picture. Like when you look at the bat, like his eyes are open. Like this is when your eyes open. And here's here's how we get to that point. So I honestly I feel like this is really more so you're reading. This guy is just extra bonus. This hangman energy. But you are going through definitely a moment of introspection, definitely a moment of reflecting on what has happened in the past. And it may even be more distant than just what happened last month. You know, it could be looking at patterns and seeing all these different things that have repeated and now kind of piecing it together. Like I said, with the moon, you know, things that once eluded you now all of a sudden appear in the moonlight. Now they make sense. Now you can take them in and processes, process them. So great. I think the pieces coming together was the best analogy. Like it's kind of like you kind of tuck in your shell, turn off the distractions. And then you're kind of able to sit there with all the pieces and you can, you know, you can kind of start doing this with them and they all start to make sense, you know, and you kind of zhuzh them and you're like, oh my God, look, it was right there in front of me the whole time. You know, it's that kind of moment, um, which I mean, honestly, it's beautiful to see. I'm all about it, but big introspection for you this month, big, 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 big. So take. Take that as it comes, take the opportunity to look back, review, you know, maybe a little rewind, possibly a little unwind. <laughs> it could be a thing. Um, yeah, lots of processing, lots, lots to go over in your mind, lots to review. So take the time, take that time to, in, to do that introspection. All right. Whew. All right, Libra, I'm going to wrap up your reading there. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me, for watching this video. Um, I think you guys so far have the longest one. We were, we were a little chatty Cathy's this video. Um, but sending you my best. Love you guys always. Thank you, as always, for joining me. And thank you for the likes, the comments, subscriptions. Um, keep them coming. Um, if you have anything to share, questions for me, feel free. Leave them in the comment section below. You can also hit me up and DM me on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. And as always, if you want to book a private session, all that info will be in the description box. All right, my Libras, take care. Love you lots. I'll see you in your next video. Bye.